Today we're going to be looking at an introduction to RAD Date Time Picker, part of the Telerik RAD controls for Silverlight and RAD controls for WPF control suites. In response to many requests from the Telerik developer community, we've taken the concept behind the custom date time picker control in the RAD scheduler edit appointment dialog and turned it into a fully fledged Telerik control. Now you no longer have to juggle selecting dates and times from different controls and combining them into a single value. Instead, you can use RAD Date Time Picker, which uses two separate UI selection methods to create a combined date time value. We'll be looking at RAD Date Time Picker in our online Silverlight demos. So let's start by going to Browse Controls. And then in the input section, we can see Date Time Picker. And we'll start at the first look example. Now here you can see a standard use of a Date Time Picker. For example, if you're checking some kind of travel information, you may want to be checking for flights on a certain date and in a certain time area. So we can easily use RAD Date Time Picker and choose both a date and a time for this selection, and you can see it reflected in the UI as soon as we check it. But we didn't stop there. Rad Date Time Picker can also be customized, so let's go into the Configurator demo and see some of the options we have. So the first thing you'll notice is that we have a watermark here for giving the user some kind of input as far as what they're picking a date and time for. So maybe we're working with scheduler or some kind of scheduling. So we'll say select appointment, date, and time, and see that it's instantly reflected in the UI. Second thing you'll notice as we do our drop down is that we have options to choose both a date and a time, as you would expect from Date Time Picker, but it doesn't stop there. We have options for changing how you want to display these values. So, first off, we have Display Format set to short currently. We can set it to long and see the full version of the date, and we can additionally change the input mode. So, the Date Time Picker can be just a date picker, just a time picker, or handle both values at once. And what we have here is a text block that's bound to the selected value from Rad Date Time Picker. So we don't have to, in any way, shape, or form, combine two different date and time values into a single date time. Rather, one control handles it and gives a combined date time value back to wherever is requesting the value. Making this a very useful control and helping you save that extra bit of screen real estate whenever you need to schedule something that requires both a date and a time. So as you can see, RAD Date Time Picker is a great new addition to the RAD controls for Silverlight and RAD controls for WPF control suites, combining the abilities of both a date picker and a time picker into one control. Stay tuned for more videos on how you can utilize RAD Date Time Picker in your applications today.